What makes something kosher? The word kosher means fit. That which is declared kosher is considered fit for a practicing Jew to partake of. To qualify as kosher, mammals must have split hooves and chew their cud. Fish must have fins and scales, and fowls must not be scavenger birds. In addition, each must be slaughtered in a prescribed manner. It's also not kosher to eat dairy and meat together. Parava foods, like fruits, vegetables, grains, or sugar, are considered inherently kosher and can be eaten with meat or dairy. Kosher certification agencies grant heksher, or a prior approval, to foods as well as facilities in which foods are prepared or served. Each of these agencies has a rabbi who determines the standards to which facilities must be held, and representatives from the agencies make occasional visits to sites which prepare or serve kosher foods to ensure their ongoing compliance to those standards. If in compliance, the food manufacturer may then place the agency's symbol for kosher on their products. Contrary to popular opinion, kosher foods don't have to be blessed by a rabbi, only certified by an authorized agency overseen by a certifying rabbi. In addition to food, things can also be non-kosher. For example, utensils used to cook non-kosher foods cannot then be used with kosher foods. A tallit, or prayer shawl, that has rounded corners or is made of certain synthetic materials would be non-kosher. A Torah scroll or mezuzah scroll that has damaged letters or mistakes in writing would also be non-kosher. Living kosher evidences one's acceptance of God's wisdom and revealed laws, even when the reason behind those laws is not necessarily known.